That's one problem, this. Isn't she glorious, Inspector? It's in 1923, with Hispano Suiza, they made this model in, from about 1919 in France. Uh, Hispano Suiza means Spanish Swiss, which uh, is a bit peculiar with France uh, being the place of manufacture, but early on they were made in Spain with a designer who was Swiss. This was a supercar of the 1920s. When it came to Paris Salon in 1919, it must have been like the Bugatti Veyron of the show. Very fast, uh, terrific brakes, terrific steering. Absolutely the best money could buy. King Alfonso of uh, Spain uh, was a great enthusiast of Hispano Suiza's, um, but the royalty, the rich uh, uh, film stars, it's not uncommon to see them in use in uh, Hollywood. As well as the general magnificence of it, the way it looks, etc., it is beautifully engineered. And I was actually working on one with a friend in 1988, and uh, I just fell in love with the engineering of it. It'd be a tactical error to think you had me pegged. Just yet, Miss Fisher. I'm very glad to hear it. Well, it's fine on a beautiful day. We were uh, filming down at the docks. It was cold and it was at night and it was hard to get the car warm enough to, to run properly. Well, she's handled it remarkably well. She's a very confident young lady and uh, it's quite a task. I mean, she's small and it's a big, heavy car. I think she's got a lot of determination and she just did it and she really doesn't have much of a problem in driving. She doesn't even have a license for a manual transmission. These cars have a crash gearbox. They don't have synchromesh, so you've got to time your gear changes or it goes crash. Guy bought it about 1990, but it was just a heap of rusty bits and it took me 12 years to put it together. As it happens to be only one of two in Australia that's going, I think they were very lucky to find a red one. <laughs>